Hello and greetings from Gravesend in Kent. I'm uh, going to take a quick walking tour of uh, a fort. Now, this is the uh, new tavern fort. And it was built uh, in 1780 and the original site was occupied uh, by a tavern called New or an inn called New Tavern Inn. That's where it got its name from. Uh, this is a very strategic spot on the River Thames as it guards the opening from the sea. Um, evidently for quite a few years it's been strategic. Even before this one was built in the 1700s, the Tudors uh, had uh, a point on either side of the river where they would guard this spot as well. So. I think it's been realized for quite some time how strategic this area is, and uh, hence the fort. Now it saw use all the way up until uh, World War II, and it's been uh, modified several times over the years. If you were to look on a map, uh, this area is east of London, and it is uh, fairly close to where it opens up to the sea. It's actually not uh, not as far up as it could be, but I, I suppose it was done uh, where the uh, river starts to narrow so that the artillery at the time would have enough coverage they could reach any ship even if it was on the uh, the far reaches. Now this uh, this wouldn't be the case uh, in the I guess the 20th century when artillery had quite a bit of range on it and could easily cover uh, the mouth of the river where it opens up but uh, I think at the point where this thing was made that's that was probably the uh, rationale behind that that's got quite a few uh, gun emplacements here that are very nicely restored there are two uh, six inch breech loading guns uh, now these aren't the originals but they're of the same type and these were installed in 1904. If you were to look down from an aerial view, you would see uh, uh, a zigzagging front face uh, rampart. Um, it's an earthen rampart, and uh, with this shape, it would give it, you know, the ability to shoot in you know, coming or going down the river directions and then uh, in the center of the fort you would see uh, like a grassy area that was the original parade ground I believe is what that was underneath uh, what you wouldn't see from the air it's the uh, a 600 foot long magazine where they would keep the uh, ammunition and, uh, they went through great lengths to protect it and I believe the lighting that was in there would be behind glass and every effort was made so that the folks working down in there wouldn't create a spark and light the thing up. Now in World War II uh, this place also uh, was significant because it was on the eastern side of the island and it was used for radio intercepts. Um, they would record radio transmissions from mainland Europe and then uh, take them to Bletchley Park to be decrypted and uh, take the intelligence value from the encrypted message and use it accordingly and this was one of the spots where they would do that they, they had quite a few uh, areas up and down the eastern coast there that they would do that sort of thing but this was one of them and uh, I guess it served as a good location for that as well. Now after World War II, the fort was opened as a public garden and park. Uh, it, it had several buildings on it that ended up um, needing to be demolished. One of them was the Royal Engineers residence. It was hit by a V2 rocket in 1944. And uh, part of the uh, 
part of the uh, Milton Chantry complex was torn down too. Now that was, I think, the only remaining piece from Tudor times as far as the buildings go. And uh, even though there's a little bit of that left, I believe, I, I don't think it's it's much, uh, much there. Uh, considering how much was there initially. Now one of the remaining pieces, the uh, chapel, uh, it was used by the Historical Society as a museum uh, for a time and then in 1972 the state ended up taking over uh, taking over guardianship of the um, of the fort. Oh, excuse me, not, not the fort, the, uh, the Milton Chantry uh, Chapel, the remaining piece. This is really neat to see um, the fact that you have a, a single fort that has 18th century guns and also 20th century guns uh, mounted and displayed. And the fact that those two types were used in the same spot, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. But uh, this spot is just down the river from London. I took the train down here, but you could take the boat. And not too far from here, uh, in a little chapel cemetery, uh, the Native American Pocahontas is buried. I've done a video on that as well if you wanted to see anything on that. But yeah, it's got uh, this town of Gravesend. It's pretty neat. There's a lot of neat stuff down here, and it's it's out of the hustle and bustle of the normal tourist stuff. So that's quite nice to not have the crowds that you see in London. All right, that's all I got for this one.